The official number of Afro-descendant people living in Iran is unknown. The biggest Afro-Iranian populations are in Ormozgan, Sistan and Baluchistan, and Khuzestan. They are majority Muslim and speak the local languages of the regions they live in, such as Baluchi and Bandar. Enslaved Africans were trafficked from East Africa to southwestern Iran to work on sugarcane plantations. Many enslaved African boys were castrated, often dying from blood loss or infection. The men were also employed as laborers, farmhands, woodcutters, stonebreakers, bodyguards and soldiers. The women were deployed as nannies and concubines, whose children became members of the slave owner's family. Some rose into positions of power as governors or bodyguards to the highest members of Persian society. Slavery was only formally abolished in Iran in 1929, and Afro-descendant communities formed their own settlements along the Gulf Coast, where they continued to celebrate their African heritage through music, dance and oral history. One of the legacies of African culture in southern Iran is the belief in spirits such as the czars, malignant spirits or winds that possess people and must be appeased. In Iran, certain spirits are referred to as Pepe or Mature, derived from the Swahili people and Matari. The Afro-Iranians themselves are unaware of the full extent of their African origins, believing that their dark complexion is due to the hot climate on the southern coast. Afro-Iranians are often referred to as the blacks of the south. At the beginning of Noruz, Persian New Year, it is traditional to see people dress as the Iranian folkloric character Haji Firuz. He is usually depicted as being clothed in red and his face is completely black. Reasons for his black skin vary. Some say he is of enslaved African descent. Others say his face is covered in soot. He is a comical character known for singing songs and entertaining people. Although not necessarily an outright caricature of a black person, Haji Firuz is a controversial figure among those who take umbrage at the symbolic racism of dressing in blackface. Some Afro-Iranian communities have been integrated for generations and intermarried with Iranians from other ethnic groups. Other communities are more separate, such as the Afro-Iranian community in Sistan, Baluchistan, who live by a strict caste system, forbidding intermarriage between certain castes. They are the visible legacy of Iran's participation in the Indian Ocean slave trade.